Hello, I'm Santiago, Senior Applications Engineer at Dwyer Instruments. Today, I'll be showing you how to program the 477 AV into flow mode so that we can read out in CFM. Then, we'll take some readings with a 167 pocket size pitot tube and a 160G averaging airflow grid. All right, we'll take our 477 AV here. Once we boot it up, we'll want to zero the unit. From here, we can go into the menu, go down to mode, enter in. We're looking for flow here, FLO. Now we'll choose our units. I'm going to go with CFM. And now we're choosing the shape of our cross-sectional area. Ours is a circle. And now we can modify the diameter of said circle. And now we choose the K factor of our pitot tube. From here we're in CFM. Um, these readings aren't going to mean much though until we're connected to our pitot tube. Now let's connect our 477 AV to the 167. We we'll want to ensure that the high port goes to the total port. Once you're connected to the system with the airstream off, we'll want to zero the unit. Now we can turn on our airstream. And there we are. Looks like we're around 2 CFM. And that's how you use the 477 AV with a 167 pitot tube. Next, let's connect the 477 AV to the 160G. First, we'll need to adjust the K factor to match the air grid. Just go into flow mode once more. You can keep all everything else the same. The K factor's got to go to 0.84. All right, now we'll connect the tubing. The positive port will go to the total, negative to the static. Once connected, we should zero the unit. Then let's extend our pole upward. Now we should be able to take an accurate measurement. And there we are. Looks like we're getting about 1.4 CFM. Once we're happy with our measurement, disconnect our tubes. And that is how you use the 477 AV with the 160G grid. To order the 477 AV with a NIST traceable certificate, add a dash NIST to the end of your model number. To learn more or order any Dwyer products, please visit our website. Thanks for watching.